Hi everyone, it's Rel Kine and you're watching another movie of the week and the movie this week was Lady Bird, so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. It's from 2017. If this is your first time here, what I do is I talk about a movie here, you guys comment below your thoughts and to end up every video I say the movie for next week so you can follow along. Just got haircut, so <laughs> my hair is a little bit all over the place. I'm struggling to figure out what to do. It's not staying in, but that's at least a little bit better because it was just getting in my face. So Lady Bird. So Greta Gerwig directed this. When is it her first film she directed? I don't know, but it was definitely one of the first. So there's that. So there's so many elements to talk, there's so many things to talk about. Where do I start? First, maybe starting with like a very stacked cast, like such amazing cast, you know, obviously the lead, uh, I can't pronounce her name, but you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> And then we have Timothy Chalamet, Beanie Feldstein, Odea Rush, uh, Catherine Newton, that, the guy who's her first boyfriend, I also forgot his name. But anyway, it's kind of crazy because Beanie, Timothy, and Odea are all Jewish, and it's like they're playing like Catholic, people go to Catholic school, so um, I remember reading somewhere that Sor, Sor, what is her name, whatever, the lead, Lady Bird, the actor, she taught Beanie kind of like the Catholic, I'm wearing my hair, the Catholic things and like rules of that. And then Beanie taught her like some American things like the Pledge of Allegiance. What is that one? Not Pledge of Allegiance. The one where you go like this and then they sing the song. I don't even know because I didn't do that in school. Anyway, stat cast, stat cast. So this is do we count lady bird as like a coming of age movie kind of and we've talked a lot about coming of age movies well not a lot but like i feel like a good amount because i feel like a lot of coming of age movies are so sad and it's kind of like the need of it but i feel like this is one that's like sad but also a little bit like happier like there's this happy it's not like fully sad like it's also a comedy this movie and but I would constitute this as a coming of age movie because a lot of our coming of age movies is kind of like, you know, it's usually someone who's like, you know, not an adult yet, but also like kind of transition over time. So this is like her transitioning to, you know, high school and to college. And we saw that with eighth grade, it was like her transitioning from middle school to high school. So it's kind of, I didn't really realize that parallel when prior to watching this movie that I'm now like realizing that parallel now. So what's crazy about this film, and this is also only my second time watching the movie, is it is, it hit a little bit too close to home. Like there's so many things about it that like, like it's so crazy, like we're so similar to my own life and just like personal, obviously like a lot of things are different, but just like some things are so similar that it's like actually crazy and I don't want to get into the like nitty gritty details but you know a lot of like the things with how she felt with her mom and how she argues and talks to her mom and how they talk to each other you know a lot of that felt like what I've been through and then some elements of her dad not all the elements of dad but like you know her dad being laid off and stuff is something that I had to deal with a lot growing up and a lot of like money financials and then applying to college was actually a big deal obviously when I applied to college it was actually at this time so 2017 but it took place this movie in 2002 which maybe I forgot about I didn't realize or maybe I forgot about because I didn't I forgot maybe it took place in 2002 but you know the way they applied to college is so different uh because you know everything's like electronic on computer now back then like i think they had to like handwrite their essays like if you ever watch gilmore girls like she's like handwriting her essays when she's applying to college or whatever but you know a lot of the same things um obviously when you know she only got into like two colleges i got into like 15 or something i don't even know how many colleges i got into i just like applied to a lot of colleges um, so, but it kind of like, you know, still like that transition of going to college and that being different. Uh, so, but I mean, there's also other things and I don't, I don't want to get into like too much about like 
But a lot of the things, it's crazy to like connect so much with the film and especially just those scenes where like her and her mom are arguing like that language and everything. Like it just, it hits so close to home. It just is crazy how Greta could capture that. So the style of directing, I think we should talk about as well because I just am in love with the style. I think it's like my favorite type of style of filmmaking and I just feel like it is so engaging. It's so easy to watch and I feel like it's just the best. I feel like obviously Barbie didn't have the same type of filmmaking aesthetic because of, you know, and also Little Woman, Woman as well because you know, they're very different films, but I kind of, the, the idea of filmmaking, it's like, it, you know, the scenes, they kind of go fast and it's something where it's like sometimes seen they're just like looking at something and then it's like okay it's it's the same scene but it's like maybe like then like 20 minutes later doing something else and kind of just like fast paced scenes where it's like it's not always some they're talking but you know they're kind of like moving along and so it's just quick and easy where it's so engaging because you don't want to miss something because then you see scenes and it's also something where it's like you're so engaged you don't even want to look at your phone and i feel like that's very successful filmmaking just like the way that it moves and it has like a little bit of an artsy feel to it just like the way the movement of the scenes that I really respond to better than like some commercial films um as well but it just it moves so smoothly and then uh, all the characters are so their acting's just so great and uh they're really I like how they really become the characters and you can kind of see like how things go over time and it's just like Sometimes we talk about it here, it's like some of these stories are just like, like when you get down to the plot, like it's not too crazy. It's like a girl applying to colleges, trading out with her life and her friends and whatever, while also dealing with stuff at home with her parents and finances. So like the plot's not too crazy, but it's like what these directors and writers do with the plot and how they tell the story. So it's like with the writing and how it's directed and so the writing just really really great so I feel like this is such an important film and it's like it's so good just because like the writing is so good and Greta did a great job of that and like her directing too so I really feel like the writing and directing then everyone's so perfectly cast also Laura, Laura Morano I just remember <laughs> so my God. but especially when you're trying to show on complete year it's like there's so much to do and so much to get through. I mean, t okay, talking more about Timothy Chalamet, like this is so crazy. This is like a young Timothy Chalamet, just like six years ago. But it's like, this is not one of his, was it one of his first roles? But it's like, maybe this is like technically his breakout role. I don't even know. I remember like seeing this and my like mom and my mom, people were like, he's gonna be the next big thing. And I was like, okay. And then he like was. <laughs> He's like probably like the most famous like like actor in like their 20s. Like I'm trying to think of like other actors like I guess Tom Holland. But like I don't know, Timothy Chalamet is just so big now. It's crazy. Man, also the scene when her and her mom are like going to these rich people's houses and touring them is just so realistic. That's like something that me and my mom are always talked about doing and we haven't done. We are like, oh, I would love to like pretend to go and like tour these rich people's houses. I'm glad that I'm like, she kind of makes up with her friend and I feel like you can like see like their friendship doesn't feel artificial and like they actually like feel like they're young and stuff. I was reading letterbox reviews and I was like, it's nice to see people in high school who actually like actually have acting, like they look like high schoolers, which I don't know exactly everyone's ages, but I think like they were still like early 20s. So it's still close enough where they still look like high schoolers. Anyway, I'm probably forgetting other things, but I'm going to end it there. So comment below your thoughts about Lady Bird. And then the movie for next week is definitely Navy from 2008. So combat labor, watch definitely, definitely, maybe. Uh, it's hot in New York for next week. And thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.